It has graphical elements in it. And we're using this top area for what we're calling the discovery bar. It's a place to discover things that are related to what you're browsing or searching for. Mm -hmm. At the top level, close we get. it shows you shows that are popular within the Tivo community. Over time, it'll be personalized based on your preferences. But once you start getting into uh, a particular show, if I type H for, for I'm looking for how I met your mother, mm -hmm. um, the other thing you'll notice is you uh, the results list is not alphabetical. It's actually listed by popularity. So. <clears throat> Is that something you can switch? You can yeah. switch it, yes. But it um, turns out that this makes searching a lot faster. If, especially if you're looking for popular content. Here is how I met your mother. The other thing you'll notice is part of what we use the extra real estate for is a three column format, so you don't have to keep transitioning between screens to get this to information. Okay. You can get it at a very quick glance, you can see how I met your mother, you can see a picture of it, you can see the cast, and we also give you icon indications of what kind of formats are available. This is what I was speaking to earlier about all the different sources where that program is available. That this icon represents broadcast upcoming in the next two weeks. We could record those broadcast shows for you on your DVR. The Amazon icon obviously represents that you can download episodes from Amazon On Demand. Over time, we'll add Netflix and other sources as well. Uh, the other thing, um, actually, let me go back. If I go into the detail page for How I Met Your Mother, uh, you'll notice a couple of things. One is the screen changes to give me details on the show, but the discovery bar also updates, and it now focuses on shows that are related to How I Met Your Mother in some way. Right, so Chuck, it's good. To, so how do they determine that? It's just the TiVo. Uh, similarity, uh, there's different ways we do it. Um, we do collaborative filtering, we also match based on tags. So, uh, for example, if there are two shows that have dark comedy, mm -hmm. we actually have um, people that go through and tag shows based on those characteristics and we'll match, you know, uh, 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 Little Miss Sunshine with the Royal Tenenbaums. Right, right. Because they're both right. dark comedy. Yep. Right. Okay. Uh, whereas there would be, otherwise there would be no association. Um, so we also tell you why we're recommending it down here. Okay. So in the future, there'll be other reasons why. Yes, say because the TiVo community recommends it, or over time there'll be other ways that we're matching, mm -hmm. and we'll always tell you why it's up there. To get details on the show, of course, you can set recordings. Um, see what the upcoming episodes are, and we'll denotate the ones that are that are uh, first time versus repeats. Uh, if you want to go catch up on previous seasons, you can go to a particular season, go to a particular episode, and uh, again, you'll get an indication when it's available to uh, when it's available to <laughs> rent from uh, one of the, the on-demand services. Now, what about was it like this before as well? Because I've never really previously used TiVo, but I mean, and this is a this is a new function. But you weren't able to see obviously when stuff was coming up or broadcast, and now Amazon on, or excuse me on demand it wasn't, has enabled that. Right it now. wasn't as well integrated as this. We've um, made it a lot easier to get all this information without navigating a lot of screens and making right. a lot of entry on the remote control. It's just much more convenient to get around. Yeah, a lot more information in one place more graphical elements, right. more personalized, and it will get more personalized over time. So once again, you guys have further eclipsed the competition. It's about surfacing content. It's about mm -hmm. easily bringing relevant content to you rather than you having to spend a lot of effort finding it. Right. Um, and uh, really bring, integrating broadcast and broadband together into one world rather than thinking of them as separate things.